Hey you guys, today I want to show you how I made this Galaxy Milky Way tumbler and you guys I am obsessed with it okay the the process might look a little different than a traditional Milky Way because what I did was I base coated this tumbler black I did use black gloss but you could use black spray paint as long as you let it dry for 48 hours and then I put a fine holographic black glitter all over the cup and I got that to be almost smooth and then I changed my mind on what I was going to do with the cup and boom, I got this really cute Milky Way. So this video is going to start after adding that fine glitter and getting it mostly smooth. So if you have questions about how to add glitter, I will link videos down in the description box below. If this is your first time here, my name is Allison and here on this channel, I teach you new crafts and new techniques every single week. So you can spend less time learning how to do something and more time actually making it. So if that sounds cool to you, hit that thumbs up button and let's get started. So again, this cup is mostly smooth and you're going to start by adding a thin coat of bright tone. I'm going to just make sure my cup is fully covered. Again, you can apply your bright tone with your finger or your brush and it doesn't really matter. Just make sure that it is completely covered. So once it was completely covered, I'm going to add my glitter. Now I'm just going to use my fingers to add this chunky glitter in a diagonal pattern. I think it helps to just sprinkle it on with your fingers because it just makes it lay a little bit flatter in my experience. And that's really the goal, right? You want your glitter to be laying as flat as possible. This is a chunky holographic silver and I will link it down in the description box below. So now in between those I took a chunky like dark purple that's a little holographic as well and just did two passes in between. This glitter has been discontinued and I really haven't found a replacement yet so I'm sorry about that but it is just like a dark purple. I don't know if it would be considered a color shift or a holographic but I think holographic. And then I just took my finger and tapped down any of the chunky pieces that were sticking up at all because I wanted it to be super, super flat. I let this dry for four hours and then continued my coats of bright tone. I did, I think about four, maybe five coats of bright tone once that was dry. Now, just so you know, I did not seal this glitter um, so it may move just a little bit. So if you really don't want your glitter to move, you may want to brush on some glitter glue or E6000 pump spray over the top, but I wasn't too concerned um, about it moving just a little bit because I am doing a Milky Way. So I just got it completely covered. Again, do about four or five coats, waiting four hours in between each coat. Then you're going to sand. Remember, it's best to sand after a full night of drying. So after your last coat, um, wait till the next morning and then give it a good sand. I'm using 400 grit sandpaper. Wipe it clean with a wet like paper towel to get all the dust off and then continue your coats of bright tone. You really want this to be fully and completely smooth before you start your Milky Way process. I mixed up my own colors for the Milky Way. So I'm using Bright Tone and the blue and red pigments. I do not measure exactly. Um, I just sort of wing it, but I can link a video um, from my friend who talks about how she does make exact recipes, and I will link that down below. So you're just going to mix it all together. This gives you a really, really pretty dark purple. Now I'm using the Crystal Act pigments, but you could use other mediums as well. Just make sure if you're going to use something like Bombay inks or paints, you make sure that the volume is like less than 3%. Um, so you don't mess with the integrity of the bright tone drying. So the other thing I did was add a little bit of the silver liquid mica from the Crystal Act company. I'm sorry, I'm sort of off camera. Um, but when you mix this together, you guys look at how pretty this just transforms with that silver liquid mica and a little bit goes a long way you really don't need much so once I got that all mixed up I added a coat of bright tone to my cup 
I am just doing a single color here to keep it simple, but you could do as many colors as you want um, to get this spread out. So I'm starting with a thin coat of bright tone, and then I'm going to add my liquid micas. Again, you can use powdered micas or other mediums. Um, I'm just using the Crystallac pigments and the liquid micas for this cup so I could get this custom color. So once your cup, cup is covered, you're going to just take your mixture and with a popsicle stick, you're gonna add it in a diagonal pattern. I did it sort of randomly. I wanted it to cover some of the glitter. I wanted it to be in between some of the chunkies. Like I just did it kind of random um, and you can play with it. This is actually like my third try. I did it like three times and just washed it off to try again because it was like not giving me the look I wanted. So what I settled on was putting it on just a little bit and taking my finger and just swiping down in a diagonal pattern um, to get this look. Now, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that I've done this with a straw in other ways, but using your finger just gives a really interesting look. I think it's soft and it sort of keeps the shape of the diagonal and you have a little bit more control. So that's why I like this. I let this layer dry for four hours, maybe longer, and then do a few more coats of bright tone over the top to um, end the cup to be super shiny. And then make sure that you let it dry for about five days before you pass it off to your customer or recipient. If you want another Milky Way tutorial with a different method, join me in the next video.